Hi, Eric here from Laser Scan TV. I have here my helmet. This episode, we had the idea to compare the new scanner from Shining, uh, this Einstar scanner, what is the entry market the scanner for around $1,000, uh, compared to this uh, $10,000 uh, Shining HX scanner. And for this one, we scanning a part of a motorcycle, a race motorcycle. It is not the helmet, it is another part. And if you are interested which part we scan and what is the result of the comparison between Einstar and Higher HX scanner from Boston Shining, then stay tuned. Now we are in the episode. Uh, I show you now the part that we have scanned. We scanned this part and this is an engine of a race motorbike. And if you are asked which race motorbike we have, I like to show it to you. But before I show it, I show which scanner we used for scanning. Uh, once we have these, maybe I have to switch to the English version here. We don't have it in English because we're selling it only in German, but I, the most important stuff. This is our uh, entry market shining scanner. For you see, this the euro price, less is 1000 euros, as so less is 1000 dollars too. The interesting part, we have a uh, point distance from 0.1 mm up to 3 mm. We don't have any accuracy showing here, also the producer don't show any accuracy to the scanner because he uh, say that it's an entry market system, this is uh, a scan to print workflow, this is not a metrology device in, in this case. Yeah? And I think it's uh, you need a good uh, PC on the end. And then we compare it with this middle class scanner, uh, the Shining HX was a um, solid system. It looks like this one here, you see, and um, yeah, this is the scanner. The price is a little bit more. Uh, the scanner has two options. You have this rapid scan option, what is also object structured optical light, and you have the laser scan option for more details. We only compare these um, rapid scan, and you see we have here um, also resolution from. Uh, I have to look where we find this, uh, 0 0.25 millimeters to 3, as it's a little bit better. Uh, and, uh, oh, is this better? I have to check. No, the other one is 0 0.1, as it is better from specification as this one. But here we get in 0 0.05 millimeters uh, accuracy for the scanner. And we also having here somewhere, uh, somehow, I don't know, it's this uh, frame rate here. Now we don't have in this uh, the frame rate. The other one tells you this have 14 frames per second. You need also a good system here for uh, uh, running this uh, system. Also you need a software on a solid PC. Okay, that's our two scanners. Then now I show you the bike what we have scanned. This is a race bike, what we are also Supporting you see our flag. This is from last year. This is an actual Yamaha R6 race bike. It's a super sport class, means 600 cubic inch, and the engine starts from 120 horsepower. Maybe the race bike have a little bit more. Um, yeah, and from this we, um, I have also some video where we I can show you. Uh, how we scan this here you see this is the engine this is very important you see we have the engine is turned black and uh, have a lot of black surfaces what is critical for scanning is not the perfect surfaces then we have also here some shiny parts it was also a little bit oil here you can see how we the frames are captured this whole entire area okay that is how we do it i can show you maybe another video some little bit more detailed here in DC from this is I have it only from the HX scanner yeah it's um, and here um, you can uh, check here that's the final result that's a little bit you now the fastest one here on this plane okay I will stop this here and then we can go straight uh, to our results we have now two data sets this is our um, engine we have it here from the HX and now I display this engine from this Einstar the entry market system and I at the first look if you are looking straight on it and especially if I maybe go a little bit out I think you don't can see any big differences here yeah it looks pretty similar so what, what we can say that um, also from the first look that these scans are not so different and we speak from a $1,000 device to a $10,000 or an $8,000 scanner 
Um, and I will uh, look now a little bit more to the details. This is now our HX scanner. You can see it here um, on the right side. And what is interesting that we have here some, some details where we can sh show resolution. You see here, it's uh, marked here. This is a, a plastic cover shield. They call it GB Racing, as you can see it here. Over here, it's also some numbers. If we turn now to the other scanner, we have now similar. You see also, you can see these details here. As you see, the resolution is pretty the same. What, from my understanding and my feeling, is this this like this um, pipe what we have here, what is a plastic pipe? This this one looks much smoother in this HX scanner, as in this higher scanner, as in the other ones. And also on some certain areas, uh, it's like we can check this here to the other side. You see also some on some areas, it looks a little bit more rough here on the surface uh, to the other scanner. And now we can turn also on the other side. You can see here on the engine we have here. Here come these uh, injector injectors in, or these uh, injectors, and here we have these. Um, I don't know the English name, but give you the flash points uh, in the moment. And then we can check this from this side here. Looks here we can compare it to another scan, and here you see some differences. Here it looks a little bit more noisy. The whole surface looks a little bit, um, a little bit more rough as uh, from the HX scanner, but it is not uh, dramatically big and also here we have here if you compare this um, I think here's an open part from the engine we have it here and we can show both of them you can see there is a little bit difference but this one looks to be honest a little bit sharper uh, but we have here bottom side here it's these internal it's not the same quality like we have it but the difference are not super dramatic. Yeah? This is thin, very thin um, uh, differences. And uh, I tried to check also to do a measurement before. But this is not super accurate. Uh, we some, I measured here this holder point where you can mesh um, the both together. It is not straight, but it's not looking so different. Yeah? If oh, I'm a little bit too, too close here, it's not, not so different. From one side to the other side, it's this is now these the small scanner, and if I turn here, turn this off, and we have the other scanner, it looks uh, pretty similar, but it's not a high accurate measurement. Maybe we can do afterwards some um, fixing there, some planes and 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 or some objects and measure this, but that was not my task. Yeah, this was uh, uh, not the task. But to be honest, um, if I compare both data sets. It's the HX have a little bit smoother surface and this is definitely better if you need a pre-process from your data like you like to do reverse engineering and stuff like that. But if you are this uh, guy who used the scanner for yourself to do some some uh, construction on it or a scan to print workflow, I think it's definitely uh, the entry market Einstar scanner that we already have here for these one thousand uh, dollars or less is one thousand dollars deliver you a solid uh, result there yeah? also for this application it's definitely good as if you like this to for your private purposes and you don't are a metrology guy you don't have to control such uh, quality you need only scan scan to design scan to print workflow go for it with the scanner i i, I give you a really thumb up and you can give me a thumb up too if you like uh, my episode and uh, subscribe to our channel if you are looking for the next interesting news from the scanning market. And I say bye bye, Eric.